Here in Australia, in tropical North Queensland, you'll find Cairns and Great Barrier Reef, home to the world's oldest indigenous culture, the world's oldest continuous living rainforest, and the world's largest living coral reef. It's a place like nowhere else in the world because it changes how you see the world. You'll never forget your time in Cairns and Great Barrier Reef. You'll see great and leave greater. He chose us in him before the foundation of the world. It's an exciting time for the Cairns Diocese as we uh, gather in anticipation of the, the Mass this evening, the Episcopal ordination of uh, Father Joe Caddy. Uh, we've already had the welcome to country. Uh, the previous evening we have Vespers where Father Joe recited his, uh, the creed and his oath of obedience and uh, now we're ready to process into the church for the ordination. A uh, very special occasion after Bishop James Foley was in office for 30 years. We waited for two years for a bishop to come and uh, Father Joe promises to be someone who's going to carry on the momentum of the diocese in the sense of it being a, a place of renewal, a place of outreach, a place of putting into practice the gospel values. So it's a joyous occasion for everybody and uh, I'd like to say welcome especially to Father Joe in being our new bishop. Rest in dust in love to be his sons through Jesus Christ. So good evening, my name is uh, Father Brendan Reed, and I have known uh, Bishop-elect Joe Caddy uh, for close to 40 years. Um, we studied at uh, Corpus Christi Seminary in Melbourne uh, in the 1980s and were uh, actually ordained priests uh, together at the same time in August uh, 1990. Um, our, our paths have um, crossed uh, many times over those years as, as well. We, we both did uh, postgraduate studies uh, also and spent some time together uh, in Rome where Joe was studying uh, social sciences at the Gregorian University um, and of course uh, all those experiences Joe will bring uh, will bring here to his role as the Bishop of Bishop of Cairns. Uh, he has a, had a particular interest um, in the area of social sciences and social justice and over the years um, I've watched him as he's worked um, in, uh, in diocesan and national roles in, in, that, in that area. Uh, on uh, the Australian Council of Social Services. He was the chair for some time of Catholic Social Services Australia and, and, and of course the, um, the CEO of Catholic Care. So uh, he brings with him uh, to this uh, new ministry of Bishop a wealth of uh, knowledge and experience, particularly in the area of social welfare and social justice. Um, but of course that's not, not all uh, Joe does. He's, he's been pastor, he's been parish priest uh, of a number of parishes um, and, and always a very personable uh, parish priest. Uh, I think we'll see in Joe uh, as bishop what we've seen in him as a priest, someone who's really interested in people's lives. He wants to get to know people, he wants to know your story uh, and he wants to engage with your story. and. Uh, I think that's what you can expect to see of uh, the newly ordained Bishop Joe Caddy in, in the Diocese of Cairns. I'm sure uh, Joe, Joe's family, um, I know many of them are gathered here tonight too, and I'm sure they'll be uh, very proud of him as well. And uh, of course they'll miss him, they're, they're a Melbourne family. It's great that Joe's uh, father, John Caddy, uh, is um, with us tonight as well as his mum, Pat. John uh, is, uh, is a singer, uh, a cantor actually. He was a cantor in the cathedral at Melbourne for about 40 years. And I, I think I'd be right in saying this is a unique moment in that John Caddy um, has sung at Joe's diaconate ordination, his priestly ordination over 30 years ago, and then he's present here with us tonight and he's going to sing 
uh, the psalm at this ordination. I think it's unique for the father of a newly ordained bishop to have been uh, present and sung at three ordinations. So um, let's uh, tune in when John sings and uh, sing along and, and, and pray with him and, and, and for Joe tonight. So it's great to be here this evening and to witness the ordination of uh, Bishop-elect Joe Caddy. And I can't help but thinking as we're sitting uh, here in the cathedral at Cairns, uh, where obviously it's, it's going to be an important place for uh, Bishop Joe. Um, I think that you'll find uh, in Cairns and indeed uh, throughout far north Queensland that uh, Joe Caddy is going to be the kind of bishop who's not confined to the space of the cathedral but is going to be out and about. Joe is a real people person, uh, both temperamentally and incarnationally, I think, if I can use that word. That is a belief that um, in Jesus Christ, God became flesh and lived among us. And Joe's going to be a bishop who witnesses to that. I think we'll see that uh, in, his, in his time as Bishop of Cairns. I'm sure that's what we'll see. That's been his past way of doing things and he'll, he'll bring that uh, to, to Cairns and beyond, I think. I know for a lot of people in the Archdiocese of uh, Melbourne, they'll be uh, delighted to see Joe being ordained uh, Bishop tonight. There'll also be a sense of uh, loss um, of having him around. He's had so many different roles across the Archdiocese of Melbourne. I know in the parishes of All Saints in Fitzroy and St Mary's in East St Kilda and St Carthage's in Parkville, he'll really be missed by uh, parishioners there. But not only in parishes, uh, Joe's had uh, roles across the diocese, worked with many people in uh, Catholic care. And also in the last five years, he's been uh, the Vicar General of the Archdiocese of Melbourne. And in the role of Vicar General, you work uh, not only with the priests, but with key uh, leaders and indeed um, Catholics across the Archdiocese of Melbourne. So there'll be a lot of people who will um, be remembering their uh, encounters with Joe and the contribution that he's made um, and uh, would, would want to wish him every, uh, every blessing and best wish for his, uh, for his new ministry as Bishop here in Cairns. Of our trespasses, according to the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. Greetings to the people of the Diocese of Cairns. I'm Joe Caddy, Vicar General in the Archdiocese of Melbourne, where I've been a priest for the past 34 years. I've now been asked by Pope Francis to take up the role as Bishop of Cairns. Well, that came right out of the blue and took me by surprise. Yet the proposal fills me with joy because I know full well the great beauty of the country and waterways of far north Queensland. And I've experienced it firsthand, the warmth, the generosity and the hospitality of the people there. Nevertheless, I know there's a lot I'll need to learn. But I'm looking forward to those learnings where together with the people of the diocese, we'll begin to uncover again and again the presence of the liberating Christ amongst the people and the communities of far north Queensland. I'd like to thank Father Kerry Crowley, diocesan administrator, all the priests, the, the diocesan staff and all the people for the smooth running of the diocese over the past two years since the resignation of Bishop Foley. It's my hope that I'll be able to take up the role in mid-August. In the meanwhile, May the good Lord continue to protect and guide and bless us all. Thank you. <laughs>